Well, we're not going back 30 or 20 years, AJ, which we'll be happy about. Okay. We're just going back 10 years to start with. Yes. yes, yes, yes. But I still can't believe this movie's already 10 years old. This feels like it came out like yesterday. But Lars von Trier's Nymphomaniac is 10 years old, if you can believe it. Now, I don't believe it's even worse seen... you've not seen a film and you think, well, I've had 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so the premise of Nymphomaniac is actually quite fascinating. Um, I mean, you, you thought it was softcore porn and i i told you it's it's it, 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 nothing soft about this film um it's full frontal it's it's hyper aggressive sex it's very very exploitative and yet it has a lot to say about not just obviously someone suffering from nymphomania which is you know sex addiction essentially but how someone gets to a stage of addiction and the place where they're not able to cope with that addiction and the fallout they have from that addiction and what the trauma that addiction causes and what long-term effects that addiction causes. It's actually quite fascinating. And it's got an amazing cast. Stellan Skarsgård, Charlotte Gainsbourg, Uma Thurman, um, Shia LaBeouf. Like, there's some real, like, Holy, wait, what? He's in it? Or she's in it? Like, wait, how, what? But, dude, it's like full open leg intercourse, anal sex, cunnilingus. Like, they don't get close up cunnilingus, too. Like, they do not shy away from hard exploitation of the human anatomy in this movie. But here's the thing. This is where it never gets into visual noise territory and why, despite being quite shocking, it's actually quite an accomplishment as a film because it all has a purpose. Story is very simple. Like, Stellan Skarsgård discovers Charlotte Gensburg by his, by his door. She's all beaten up and he wants to get to the story of, how did you end up like this here? And that's the story. Would you like to see a trailer? Are we are we get are we at risk of? Like, I don't know. I'm looking for one that's not red band. This is what I'm saying. Like just because I, I, with the highest. This respect, doesn't look. Too, this doesn't look too bad. I don't imagine on YouTube they're going to show anything. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. It should be fine. <laughs> right. Let me share it. screen with you. Oh God! <laughs> Please don't demonetize it. <laughs> The name alone, I can see, is going to be a problem. I know, I know. I, I'm genuinely quite worried, but let's see. Can you see this okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we... Yes, we're in the correct screen format. Fantastic. Right, let's do this. And one and a two and a three. No. Oh, yeah. There she is. nothing to smile about. What I wanted to say was that if you have wings, why not fly? If I asked you to take my virginity, would that be a problem? No, I don't see a problem. You, you are to ask him if he wants to have sex with me. Yeah. Um... My name is <laughs> and I'm an sex addict. We say sex addict. Willem Dafoe, Shia LaBeouf. Why? Look at this cast. Would it be all right if I show the children who are dead? I've never met a bad human being. Oh, you have now. You are rated. <laughs> Christian Slater. That's, uh, Jamie Bell. That's not how it goes. Most people don't scream until they hit the. <laughs> yes. demanded more from the sunset more spectacular yes. colors when the sun hit the horizon that's perhaps why i only say so 
Please don't do anything all right at the end. I'm going to stop there just because I don't know. <laughs> Safe for the sorry. Safe for the sorry. Safe sorry. But look, so you can see how it's shot. It's purposefully art house. It's very visceral. I mean, when you're saying lines, when you're about to crowbar a woman and she's screaming and the character crowbarring turns around and goes, they don't usually scream until I've hit them. You know you're in for a rough, nasty ride. And it is, listen, it's a hard watch. In a kind of weird way, I actually think it's quite a remarkable achievement that they've managed to get the lifespan of a young girl across who's been clearly affected by the events that have led to her being how she is, seeing the come up to that, the fallout for that, the redemption from that. And while it's all going on, her still being self-critical while trying to find some sort of weird beauty in the world, knowing how messed up she is. It's quite incredible. I think brushing it off as just porn is 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 a bit missing the point. No, but listen, it's one of those things that you, you hear the name, you can't help but feel a certain way. But, you know, it, it all depends. And sometimes without knowing the direct thing, do you hear the name and you think, you could even think it's a comedy and you think, oh God, where are they going with this? And, you know, it, it's very easy to turn that corner. But yeah. the fact that it isn't that, and it is quite artistic and quite storytelling, is something to be respected. And yeah, I, I'm look, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. And that, 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 that's, that's what cinema is meant to do. It's meant to intrigue you. It's meant to give you that feeling of what's next. So credit right. to him. Credit to you. So my final score, it's not going to go goat territory. I'm going to give it a thumb and a half. There's a new one. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a new one. That is most definitely a new one. I, I'm mixing it up today. It's going to go thumb and a half. So, you know, I, I, it's a very good film. Thought provoking, not one you're going to go back to and watch loads, but still very, very, very good. One that I thoroughly recommend you go and see.